We are in Western Kingston at the corner of Spanish Town Road and Industrial Terrace to do another interview for the world, for Black Q TV. Can you please state your name? Well, my name is Alvin Mitchell. You know. When were you born? I was born 6 of February 1949. 1949? Yeah. Which makes you 70 what? 72 years old this year? 72 plus. 72 plus? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Alvin, that means you have been around a very long time. You were born right here in Jubilee? Yeah, right at Jubilee. Right here, so yeah. all your life? Is in West Kingston. Is in West Kingston. All my life. Never exactly. Move, never move going nowhere. I never live nowhere else. Exactly where in West Kingston. Well, when I born, yeah, my parents were living that sixty-three and three quarters Spanish Town Road. Spanish Town Road. Yeah, that's right. Actually, in front of Queen's Theatre. Okay. And my granny tell me that when I was two months old. Yes. She take me away from from my mother and carry me go up by. Wellington Street, 36 Wellington Street. Okay. And I live at Wellington Street till... I, I, I live at Wellington Street and around two other places in Denham Town. Yes. Until I move, come down by Tivoli Garden. Yeah, okay. And that is around 40 years now. About 40 years now. And on. more. And more. Okay. So, 40 years, I'm thinking, well, 32 years, you were still here in Wellington Street and around. So, where did it start? It? Your preschool? Your primary school? Well, primary. I started at infant school, you know. Yes. At St. Anne's Infant School. Mm -hmm. I end up a primary school. I end up a St. Anne's Primary School. Okay. And when I leave school, I leave school before my time. You did? Yeah, I leave school. You can, you can actually tell at what age you left school? Can you remember? Well, I can't really remember the exact age, you know. But I leave school before my time. Mr. Mitchell, when you say before your time, we are thinking that, okay, fine. I it's before graduate. It's before 17 years old. No, I leave school long before 17 years. Before 17 years old. Long before. And you did not um, graduate? No. You didn't get to um, graduate? No. But did you finish primary school? Can you remember if you finished um, the sixth grade? Yes, I finished. You finished the sixth grade? Yeah. So it was after the primary school then? I, I leave school. Somewhere I'm in secondary school you dropped out? Yeah. Okay. You remember which secondary school you was attending? I didn't reach secondary school. Oh, you did a reach there? St. Anne's School did have a, a high school around there. I oh, did and you did a reach there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it was St. Anne's Infant, Primary and High School? Yeah. Okay, that's a piece of history we're just learning. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Mr. Alvin, it's a long journey. And I'm saying to myself, how did it work out for you? Your, 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 your liberty, your, growing up, your daily activities, yeah. mom and dad, how was it around you? Well, my granny used to work at Denham Town School. Mm -hmm. and, uh, she used to sweep the school, keep you, it clean. Your grandma? Yeah, my granny. What about mom? Well, my mother, I didn't live, live with my mother. Didn't live I with your mom? My granny. Your granny? Yeah. What about your father? My father died when I was around. Around nine years of age. I about nine years of age. Yeah. So it was grandma? But, but just grandma. And, and how was the journey with grandma? The journey was nice. The journey was nice. Because it was a, was a holy power and my mother didn't have it. Yes. My granny didn't have it neither. She never had a good job. And I have to help her work in the morning. Yes. I have to follow her, go to school, as help her work. You know, the morning and by. 7 get o'clock, I have to go help my grandfather sell curtain around the town to survive. Okay. That's in the market? Yeah, that oh. is, is sell curtain around the town, I used to sell curtain around the town. Okay. Until eventually, when I was around 16, yeah. I started learning trade. 
mechanic, surely. Mechanic? Yeah. Okay. With a man named George Brown. Where was this? Right, same place in Dinamton, a little King Street. Okay. And uh, I learned to read. I learned yeah. mechanic work and it, it, eventually I went my garage myself on Wellington Street, 36 Wellington Street, where I was living. Yes. And I start get I start get children when I was around 16, 15, 16. Yeah. You start, your first child? Yeah. Was that 15? Yeah. 16? Yeah. Okay. And I, I work, I work, 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 do mechanic work. I used to, I, 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 I used to load garbage pan truck. Yes. Until eventually I start driving the truck. Okay. To I know mechanic work and I could have drive. I start driving the truck as a driver. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I leave it. Go back a mechanic. Go and do mechanic work till the violence flare up and I have to leave the damn truck. Okay. Because I'm brother, you know, I was a buyer. Yes. Jim Brown, the man that was my friend. Yes. Buyer was the brother. Yes. Popcorn, Stumbo, the whole of a young boy went up and down. Yes. And between Siago, Buyer, and Jim Brown, get a house in it from Buster Manchester. Yes. I get the house around 72, 73. Yes. And I live in that house until now. Okay. You are still there? Until now. And when I come down here, running up and down, down with, with, in, in politics, running up and down in politics. Okay. One evening, Mr. Sarah called and I said, Alvin, go by the station to the superintendent and tell him that I said it to him. And I said, Baba, I said, go up by the station and to the superintendent. And he said, go on. Don't, don't argue with me, go on. And when I come up at the station, the superintendent named Mr. Martin, Jasper Martin. Yes. And I got to him and he said, I got to him and he said, where are you now? I said, Mr. Siago, send me to your boss. And he said, oh, are you in Alvin? He said, yes, boss. He said, well, that is in the 70s. He said, well, Mr. Siago, I must sign him as a home guard. I said to him, say, no, boss, I can't turn one guard. I know the qualification to turn one guard. Yeah. I can't write a real statement. I know one of one guard business. And he, and he said, well, you have to tell Mr. Siago that, you know. And I go back down to Mr. Siago. And he said, you're, you're, you're joking, go back up to. Then I'm talking to Mr. to the superintendent. Go now and do my coffee, tell you again. I said, what, what am I like this, you know? When him tell him to do that thing, don't tell him no. I can't tell him no. Yes. They come back up there and... Okay. Mr. Martin said to me, I know him what guy saying about. And Mr. Martin called our inspector and said, sign up Alvin to be a woman guard. The inspector called a, called a corporal named Mr. Gardner. Mr. Gardner signed me up and thing. And I said to Mr. Gardner, Mr. Gardner, I know them no, no thing I know. I can't imagine them teaching. I, I have a qualification. You know? And Mr. Gardner said to me, say, just hold my you safe. But from the same life, you're know, my friend. Yeah. And he came to the inspector back and said, Spec, you have to take this man here and show him the ropes. Tell him the ropes. He right? tell the police, say, he no, have no qualification to write the statement and this. And Mr. And the inspector man said, I tell you, ladies, we have one of the police that can write it. Can take him statement and write it. Yeah. Do that. <coughs> I'm signing. Okay. So you signed in mm -hmm. as a home guard. As a home guard. So you eventually so you learned the work then? Well uh, even though you said to yourself, I can't do this, I do have nothing for this and whatsoever. Yes. You you, you learned it. Yes, I'm going to tell you better than that. Yes. After I became a home guard. Them say around three weeks after them say, I forgot camp arrange. So when I got camp arrange, them say, yes, I forgot camp go learn for pull on and fix up gun and fire gun. I said to the inspector, I said, I must go. And he said, yeah, I must go. Let me go. And he looked at the, the, the sergeant and me and just said, 
If you look at them, it's sad that means that they get some information about me. So, me was a Dan brother. Me was by a brother. And okay. I'm saying, and I'm saying by, a, by a, is a Dan. So, you so look at them, you get information about me. So, when you go there, he pick me out and put me at the front of the class. And I asked him, say, why you put me there? I said, I want to go back. He said, no, you have to stay at the front. <laughs> when I sit down, them, shoot, them teach you for pull your gun, or for set it up, or for fire it. Everything about gun, and I'm in the and them things there. Eh? Yes. When you send me up on the range, when we go up on the range, we spend three weeks in a class, three weeks. A camp, up park camp, let me carry. Yes. When we go up on the range, then give me 12, 12 cartridges, 12 bullets. Yeah. And I'm sure we say, you just see the man there, I'm going to shoot off of a car. He might come to kill you now. And Nazi, I won't come to you with a gun. I say, all right, we understand all of that. Because I'm always in the fool. Yeah. He said, you see the head? Don't give them for the head, give them for the chest. Because the head of marksman, this is that. Yeah. And then he give me the 12 cartridges now. He said, anytime the whistle blow, stop fire and bring the fire and come with the way I have in there. Well, when I say, Lord, Lord, put in the six cartridges. He said, hear him. Hear him for the man you don't come to with the one. He said, fire. When me fire, four, four shots out of my fire me now. I stop fire. And he blow the whistle. Can my gun go? And he said, everybody go. Everybody fire six. Yeah. And he said to me, he said, why you don't fire six shot? <coughs> And you get 12 cartridges of fire. You say, but, Sarge, suppose that me fire my six shot. And I'm gonna cut my shot and run down for me. I kill him or kill me. You <laughs> have to save an extra. <laughs> That's if you run down for me. You have to give one or two to repeat back for me. You shake him and I say, smart. <laughs> me know say so you're a gunman for a long time. Because your brother are done. <laughs> I'm saying you're smart, you're not supposed to empty your gun. It's for two. You're not supposed to fire your gun and empty it. You're supposed to stick back here one cartridge. That's if you're up on and run down for you. Up on and can't count your shot and run down for you. Yes. Well, I'm setting my back on the range again. Fire again. Can't go. Well, we spend one more week in the class after we go for the range. And I'm saying, well, I'm going to send them the report. I'm going to send them the report to the superintendent. Well, I'm going to the station the one day and the superintendent called me. I said, I'll bring the report coming now. And the report when you get, them have you as a marksman. Yes. You're, you're fire. Um, you get shot out at 12. And seven of them at the head. And one that is chest, chest. So them have as a marksman. Well, the superintendent tell me that. I said them have a meeting the following week for decide. Because them said them have to have a unit leader for the whole for the whole West King song. Yes. The whole West King song, all the division. Station them for the home yard. Yes. And when them came in, them appoint me as the unit leader for the whole West King song. Okay. And then give me a firearm for myself. Licensed? Yeah, Mr. The, the superintendent, Mr. Catwell said, when the firearm them come, make the unit leader Alvin have one for himself to keep and carry. Mm. And for me, get that firearm. Nobody never gets it back. One time, and this bomb guard come barrel from me. And the, and the station guy said, yeah, I can't let me fire me now. I'm ready to say it in the same way. And the other one said, you know, good man, kill him. And take the fire. Mm. Take the 
fire. Did, 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 what happened after? You, you couldn't get into any trouble for the simple fact that you signed it to him? No, you know, I couldn't get the trouble. So I'm going to tell the station guard and the station guard, say, yeah, we can't let him in. Okay. And he really said, it in a fair name. Uh, yes, so that him can have it. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. So the, so the whole force now say, I didn't have the firearm at that time. So did they replace it? No. They never replaced that one, but, you, but then came a, a police firearm now, a service revolver. A police service revolver said, they must sign this revolver to me. I mean, if you need that, I need to have the at the guard room. I give to the more police man. This one now, I definitely for keep on care. The, the next one was to keep on care too. Yeah. But that was a warm guard firearm. Yes. No, to the warm guard firearm, they slip up. Yeah. Then give me a police firearm. Yeah. And I around two weeks after that, them kill a man from Rima and get the firearm. You're talking about the very get same the fire firearm. Away. My Your fire one. Remember the the original one. one. Yeah. And them say, if I want it back. The superintendent said, no, don't give it back. You have a police service involved already. Make him keep that. Okay. And when then I'm told police man, get chance to miss up. The only one that was left back there was Jack, Pig Jack. Yes. And the superintendent <coughs> said, from now, Alvin and Jack must work day and night when them for work. Nobody else. Did this workplace, Mr. Alvin, was right here? Right at Denham Town. Sir. Right at Denham Town Police Station. Yes. And, I'm, and me and Jack work around two years or more. We remember. Yes. But we work and don't joke when me and him used to work. See, I put me in charge of fish gun. I mean, build fish gun here. Okay. Because see, I will call me one night and say, must move the fish people in my Spanish town and find somewhere to put them. I said, but I said, I'm in the next place to put them. I said, find somewhere to put them. I said, get instruction anywhere you find. Just call me and tell me. And a piece of open land, there are rose lane and, and something in the street, where fish come there now. I'm going to put the fish people in the panic and take them off of Spanish town road. And people have sat by and said, them can't stay there because the place. One well, mile at one this hour. How many tell Mr. Siaga and Mr. Alvin? I said, I said, come mile it. And he mile it. Clean it up and mile it. And when he mile it, them sat by and said, the mile are blind there. And I tell him, and he said, all right, Alvin, what do you believe me should I do? I said, but I said, most thing I have to do now. Asphalt it. And he asphalt it. And send some tent. Send some tent, come give me. I said, put them on there. And the day I sell, sell till the bar, see the market fence. And he put, he fence it properly, decent. Build up offices for me, everything. And me and Jack start work on the job. Thief, them time, the thief out there. Afraid of me and Jack. A man in time when me and Jack work. Me also got work. 2, 2, 30 a man in time, me and Jack. And when the boy, when, when the boy, them used to say, me are coming up. They used to say, watch out, Alvin are coming. I mean, I ramp with them. Quite a few of them, shoot out there. Kill around five of them out there. Thief, I definitely thief and ripper. I mean, see them enough too. See them enough. Yes. I send around three of them that go to prison. Them come back and me and them are friends. See them here right now. Ah. Me never work partial. Me never put politics in front of me. Work. True. And me used to report to Siago. Siago used to say. Directly. Siago used to say. Superintendent say. Superintendent tell him say, I'm doing a good job with us. Mm. Siago was a nice man, lovely man. Yes. Like, boy, I may tell you, good people are there, they're there, they're there. Siago was a nice man. But Siago was alive, we are going, we couldn't go on. We couldn't go on. Yes. See, this man, the two. This man. This man got through all the West King, so. Yeah. Any, anyway, we reach in politics. Yeah. About our politics. Yes. 
That's my lacking. Nobody should know God. I cost him to a friend abusing, abusing family. Police beat him and take us in. People cross him, style him, tell him all kind of things. And he's still wala for rescuing some people. I'm still defending rescuing some people. Yes. But some of the people they're ungrateful. Mm -hmm. Some of them ungrateful, bad. You can't do nothing for please them. Yes. But me, I tell the big boy, this man, Mackenzie, doing best and I try and best. And if was, and if was, if you look at violence, you go on and you're rescuing so. Please see that better. Yes. But every time I'm try, violence carry it down. Yes. Yes. Still, if we see how you know, we are going now, we could not go on. But the point is, what Sarah could do, this man can do it. And that's what enough people don't realize. What Sarah could do in politics or in her constituency, this man can't do that. Okay. You understand? Okay. Mr. Alvin, I want to ask you a question. Because this crossed my mind, right? It seems to me and to the to the audience that here in Western Kingston, the, the history of Western Kingston and the becoming of Western Kingston, there must be some male authority in order for things to work. And I want to say authority, not any authority. Uh, 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 not to say all the way educated, but a knowledgeable authority with, with integrity in order to lead. Because the minute that is broken down, or is, or, or is, it, it, it's lacking, then here comes the, 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 the torment and the, everybody going against one another and the six different gangs and all of this. Because you have been like, how many people have interviewed now and you know the, the, the authority everybody missed the authority that was equitable to everyone no it's like it's whatever goes with whoever and whosoever and it, it, this chaos is causing people and they are longing for how it used to be so what do you have to say about it you know um, me your views the breaking down Yes. You know when the breaking down really start after incursion, the whole breaking down. Is the incursion, yes. 2010. Yeah. The okay. Breaking down start after the incursion. Okay. And just gone. Okay. Because just said gain a respect. Yes. Where enough man never get that. The respect of Dodo said that. Yeah. It's hard for a man come get that right and you know. Yeah. Hard. God do this. I don't know how to do it, but I'm doing it. I'm gaining the respect of the people and the youth. Yes. I'm controlling the youth, gaining them respect. And they did the work and work nice. Because if something didn't go on up at Denham Town, yeah. and they just send you up there and say, no, enough for go on, can't go on. It does not go on. Simple. If something go on, a man take up here. And they just talk up on the phone and say, it can't go on, enough for go on. It shouldn't go on. Yeah. But from them take up the doors. The system gone right down. Was it there, Mr. Alvin? I need to ask this question. There was never a way for the government to consolidate with Dodos as far as because here it is, there is law and order. Because no one was dying. We, we get every day we hear people die and death and, 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 and whatever. So if you had someone who could control the crime rate, the death rate. You understand me? At the time, I gotta tell you something. What, what seem or what was the problem between them why they couldn't negotiate or come to some form of agreement, even if it was a backdoor agreement? So for the sake of the uh, and the mercies, it, it, why couldn't it work? I gotta tell you something. To me, to me at the time. But Bruce Golden was the Prime Minister. Bruce Golden? Yeah. But to me, it did lack a, a, 
organizations in between Dodos and the government. And the government. They never correspond and meet. But, but you know, that never happened to politics. Okay. Because me, the Bruce Golden, never did one. The next side, you say, Imam, does a talk to him for a court at him. Okay. And at the time, Peter Phillips, pressure. Okay. Pressure the government, pressure the Prime Minister. For what happened? Make a call. Peter Phillips said, No way that come for a long time, you know. Okay. And like him said to himself, say, what a, we are, we are, we are all this. And if we win, we, 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 we go long upon them, like hands. And if we lose, we are pressure the government. Okay. So to, to me, that's what I'm talking about, but to, to me, to my understanding, I know. Yeah. So we see it. Yeah. The government couldn't do more with them do. And, do the right for decision, come here, but never take that decision there. Let me just kill him. Okay. Yeah, let me just kill him. Yes. But we couldn't do better, I'm trying best. And but when he was around, if he was around, no, we are going. Couldn't go on, couldn't go on, couldn't happen. Yes. Because he have the influence over the youth and the people. Yes. How he do it, I don't know. But he have the influence. I must say to you, Mr. Alvin, I remember they used to have a, um, what's the name of that dance again? That they used to keep in the, in the, oh. the night dance, what yeah, them man. used to call? Jamboree. Um, not the jamboree, man. They used to keep something like every week. Like every week? Yes, every week, I think it was. They used to keep it, but. What a football thing, you know? Every oh. week them keep a little session. No, I'm talking about a dance dance where, uh, this is how I'm asking. Oh, you got to talk about. Oh, oh. Out of miles. Passa, passa, passa or something. Passa. Yes. Passa, passa. I remember coming to Passa, passa one night with my friend. And we parked like all the way down here. Yeah, man. Passa, passa. You used to bring the people them together. Yes, but I remember when we parked, I said to him, he came out the car and closed the door. And in closing the door, he never locked the door. And you know, he had moved a vehicle. So, man, I looked at him and said, lock the door. And he said to me, he said to me, I do this place, this is my Yeah, man, you couldn't break a car. Shoot. And look, that it really impressed me. Yeah, man. Because I cannot believe that I left something here, right here in the car, and in the wee hours of the morning when I came back. You come back, come see it. And it was here. Yeah, yeah Because true. walk a good look at this dance to go yeah. to the dance. No, okay. no man, no man only thinking of. And I said, this is good. Man car. And I said, this is good. And then I sleep, me I tell him about it. The system gone down. The system gone down. Bruce Golden just resigned, sir. He never ever come to the executive or the delegate them and, and say, What you know, I'm going to resign him because so and so and so. Maybe if you do that, the executive and the delegate them. He just said, no, don't resign with the behind you 100%. He never allowed that. He just came here with his family and just get up and say, he resign. Yeah. Bruce Golden make, make some people in West Kingston, yet him. And some people love him. He's not like Siago. She are beloved by, I wouldn't say 100%, by 95% of the people. Because they must have one or 5% behind the door, I said. Mm -hmm. Some of them are giving 100, they give 95. Yeah. Bruce Golden never love, never allow himself to be loved by several, a 60% of the people. Mr. Alvin. With your knowledge and your experience and all that you have been around. And I'm sitting here just, you know, imagining what's the best way forward. 
because politics is still in the air and all the alienated things that, that, that's coming to us, not just COVID-19, no. whatsoever we're going through, what, what do you think is the best way forward for, 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 for let's say, 20 years ago? The best way forward. Why? I say 20 for the simple fact that it's, hard, it's nine it's years from the incursion. Yeah, and, but you it's hard to tell you that. You know, I, I just get hard to tell you that. You see the youth, them now, them not take the talk. I try to see a one thing they believe in now. It's the gun. And the youth about it. You see the one you come for kill you. They don't know him. And he looks so. It's not a man who's been in the debut a long time. I run up and down. It's a youth who don't know. It's not a youth who... You, maybe you know him grand, you know him grandfather. But in, you don't know him. In other words, the force has it harder to, to discern who is who than, than the early forces. Ah, Baba. You understand what I'm saying? To that you can't trust somebody. Let me tell you this last man. You see, if you see, if you see your own a brother, or your son, or your grandson with a gun, with a gun, free time. Because if I see my son with a gun now, I, I go and get free time. You know why I go and get free time? Gun. Don't respect nobody. If you have the gun and wait for yourself and press the trigger, it kill you. Me, me carry a gun from 1976. Sleep, eat, and drink with. Till, till, till 1997, yet. Me out a fish gun in my gun and just get fed up by it. And just walk and come at the station and go to the superintendent and tell him, say, big man, I'm going to sign off the gun. And the superintendent said, have you been mad? How are you going to sign off the gun? How are you going to work? And he said, no, me, me work without it. And he said, but they're going to kill you without the gun. He said, no, man, me, me I'm going to work without it. So when he tell us, some of my friends and everybody said, stop working the gun. We get free of the gun. And we work out there. Around five years after we thought gun. No gun. I mean get the respect. See them here. As if you still had it. As if you still have a gun. And probably people out there thought you still did because you don't let them know you did what you did. You understand? No me make, yes. no, me make them know say me not a gun. I mean not everybody. Your peers, if, maybe. If everybody didn't know say me not a gun again. Cause okay. I mean, cause I mean, cause I mean never hide. Okay. Cause from me sign off my gun. Anytime you got work. A man in time, I come out from my work. Me, kept my guns up in here. And my shirt. So, Mr. Alvin, I want you looking at my camera now, and I want you to tell me. Tell them. Yeah. Tell them about this gun. Yeah, the, me, the, the, This is where you want. Yeah. This is where you would like. Yeah, me, I like to see. Me, yeah. them get back together. Yes. Put on the gun and get back together. Look somewhere. I look after them family. I stop killing people. You killing a gun with my brother. A brother killing brother. Father want to kill son. Mm. Cousin want to kill cousin. Till the reach a pint where them start shoot woman and pick me. Mm. It now go nowhere. It now go nowhere. Too many people can't get what can't walk out of town. Then I'm town people, some of them can't walk out of the valley. Some of them, you know. Yeah. The, the, the boy, boy, them. Now come, but the big people they may come. Yeah. And this war I go on longer than even when we are river you so hard. Cause this war I go on from after the incursion. And we are river they only war for four years. And more people dead than this war more than when Rima war. Yeah. It's crazy. The only man come and come kill so much people without war, Adams. Adams come and come kill 28 people one Saturday morning. Who is Adams? I was superintendent of police. 
Okay. And then to open the police. Okay. You come around sat the man with a squad. And drop out the squad out of court. And let me tell you this, the boss. Me, I tell you this, I'm a, and it, 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 it's all up on camera. The first somebody needs to get a shot into the market. A woman, part of year. Them 16 shot part of year. I said, go and come to me. I said, Mr. Hadley, watch out. He shot part of year. You understand? The second man needs to get a shot is a man who puts God in his sleep. No, I see, you know, me, me, I tell you what I see. I'm a call Siago. And tell, tell Siago, say, boss, hell up, up And he said, what do you mean, Alvin? I say, Adam's come as a squad and I shoot people. And he said, Alvin, what are you doing now? I say, I'm in the market, sir. He said, all right, I'm coming down right now. Meet me at Darling Street on Spanish Town Road. Yeah. And when we go there, I say, Adam's on the run. 20 man there at Spanish Town Road in front of Regent Street. And you have a next set of man out of Mr. Miles in front of Tivoli Court. And you have some more man right in front of Darling Street. And you see the man in the front of Darling Street? A man stand up. Side that garbage chocolate park there. And the police shoot the man. Turn the gun up, up to that lane. And kill the man. The man drop, drop, drops and dead. A man named Stanley with a rope in murder. Say, if I come out to assist the man. Let me shoot him and get a shot in him foot. We must run back in the yard like a thief. Yeah. But that uh, Adams have around 15 police right at uh, Regen Street and Paris. I'm mean, going tell you this for better. Adams does it dead. Adams is dead, that's the man. I'm mean, going tell you, say, he's dead, that's the man. But, but you know why I'm not dead? See, I'm going to call me and say to Mr. Alvin, where are you? I'm going to see him in place, sir. But he's dead in the street. And Spanish Town Road, and Mr. Adams and some police say, right at uh, Regent Street and Spanish Town Road. And them just, them just killed a man. Two men them killed, them killed a taxi man too. Not a taxi man, a man bring some road to put in a taxi. And as they bend over, so, a police shoot him and hand him back in the taxi, sir. And I tell him, say, Mr. Sarah, them just killed two men. And he said, all right, I do up industrial tell you, sir, come. Still, still where they are coming there. And let me tell you this. When Adam did for dead, see I got drive up same time. See I got drive up same time. And see me dead. Police are dead too. But he made a dead. And so see I go to him and say to him, say, Mr. Adam, what is going on? What I want? And he said, I want to get out of this place. But a crowd of people did the right at Darling Street and Spanish Town Road. And Mr. And Sarah said, where do you want to go? He said, I want to go down Darling Street and go and come out of this place. And Mr. Sarah said to him, all right, I am going to take those crowd of people and carry up Bank Street. That's you can go and hear the police then. And he said, yes, all right. And when Mr. Sierra and him bodyguard them leave and go up Darlings, up Bank Street, with the, and them, the, those people that did it there were some igla, and boy and girl, picnic guy and girl, and then a gunman, and then a gunman crowd. was just igla and people come and mark it. Yeah. And when Sierra go up Bank Street with them, he said, come back down and say, Mr. Adam, you can't go on now. Adam said to Desmond Mackenzie, I tell him, stand upside the Desmond. He said, he can't go and get because he has a car out there, so he'll punch her. 
and more change the tire and move the car. This man said to me, he said, Alvin, go to the police and go change the tire. And he said, no, I'm not go. I'm not going. And I want to say, I got body guard, go with him. Change the tire, come back. And when you come back and go into the vehicle, then when everybody believes, said the man, I got go down Darling Street, you know, where the man do? The man got straight in the command post in the day. I'm off it. I'm a virgin. You see, friend, the man going there. Nobody can pass that market them dead. 28 people the man kill. And when some of the people they never ever get shot for dead, you know. And when anybody go for assist them, shot that. So they must leave them. Them say they believe till them dead. And they depend on the ground for three days. Then they sat there, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And Wednesday them start moving the body there. When Mr. Billy come and Human rights people come and say, no, a tiny world people think with dead people. Nobody can touch them dead. Dead them swell and bust and rotten. Yeah. And when we, and when we move the dead, dead, dead Friday, they, I think I went to move them. Around two weeks after the other sick, them tell the sick, I said, they can't stay so. And say, I said, all right, I'm going to start burying them. And say, I will call me. I said, go in the cemetery and find a place. But we can't bury 13, 13 of them that come from West Kingston. Madman. Worker. Had a man with a fixed fridge. Have a fridge. Have a motor upon him head. Police are screaming. Just stay up at the White House and kill him. 13. And when I say, I'm going to find a space. Person. And we dig a trench. We bury the 13 of them. And some inspector and public health people come and say, no, they can't bury so. It's half a part. Mm. I'll part them in a 13. I can't tell you this, my brother. It's the first I ever see a cry and shed high water. And when the sun they were going bury, them church up at the, up at the center and then I'm down. And when them church and the 13 casket, they pan the tree, there's a tree of them, they pan it up. 13 casket. See, I go cry and say, Look how them kill my people, them, for nothing at all. Not one good man get dead in there. 13 innocent people, Adam Skill. 28 innocent people, Adam Skill. Oh, some come from, most, 13 come from about or so. 13 were buried. When they have the body for bury them, because a madman and kill these people. Other people take them body and bury it. But 13 the Seago bury now nobody to bury them. Some of the, the balance of them, some of them. Country them come from, come by Lord, Adam skill them. The 13 of them bury them here in cemetery. West Kingdom people go through some terrible things. And I believe, I know West Kingdom people should I enjoy like a peace and quietness in our life. Yeah. Police come again. Five youth, they are dance. Them kill the five youth. Not, not come out of here. Police come. Kill four. Three women and one little boy. Three women, you know. Three innocent women. When the business is done. And one little baby had jump up in the bed. Police kill them. Not, not come out of here. New clergy and come. Them say them kill 70 odd people. Liar. Liar. More than 70 odd people dead. When new clergy and I go on, they sat there. When they start, they need to hold themselves stand up. And when the shooting start, the police have a big gun police station there. And we are so ready. No, we couldn't pass us up at the station. Nothing. I mean, me run in as so. From the Saturday, I mean, in there until, until the next Saturday. Everything will go on. They come out and, me come out and, a, ba, a place in Rwanda, so where we could have come out and see us, and people, and see everything. The place, I mean, they in around us, so. We could have peeped through a wall and see everything that go on past Palestine. 
Je suis venu à la maison. Je suis venu à la maison. Je suis venu à I see the Tuesday night. I see the Wednesday. The Wednesday around five o'clock. Me, me a peep through the wall. And see a police truck with dead man in there. A car got me up here. And when we call Desmond and tell him, Desmond said, no man, not no gossip man. And I say, yes man, did them a transfer, transport body in a mere pen. Did, did them a bury body in a burn body in there. This man said, not no gossip salve. I used to the Thursday morning. This man called me back and said, Alvin, all you tell me are true. When them bury them couldn't find nothing more for bury people over there. Them just throw them at the front, them, them rat more. Mm. Yeah. And I believe it's time now for rescuing some people. Enjoy like a peace. I feel them government in power. And them can't enjoy nothing. You know, we can't join nothing. You can't go to Spanish Town Road in peace. You can't walk, go to Rima in peace. You can't go to town in peace. Because one to come from Tivoli is a target. My God. You can't. I didn't come to my and go. I mean, and let me tell you, Mr. Virgin. If God had given up, they would not go up there. If God up there called me, I would not go up there. God got to and them and himself come at Denham Town. Because God got to Denham Town. I don't go up there, I don't go see God come. I don't go up there. I'm afraid. But maybe nobody is not doing nothing as a big man, but I still not have a chance. Because I'm like a young boy, I don't no respect nobody. I don't respect nobody. A time now for, for rescuing some people and joy, peace. But then I'm told, Auntie Valley, I'm flesh of that. You think they are like a peace, man? Mr. Alvin, at 72 years old. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm a believe, me believe. If me back it careful the same way, me only if it's 100. Of course. Mm -hmm. 100, me only if it's 100. And it's just because the Look a nice fusion just now, but at 72 years old, and let's say it should end tomorrow, Miss Alvin. Let's say it should end tomorrow. Your last message, why you give these youths a message? But you, you're seeing it all, you, you know most of it. Yeah, but, 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 but you know the best of this place, hey, you know the know worst side. Hey, me, me run up and down with all the down there, all the bad man there. Tell them what you want to see. First this man. No, for them, don't even know the first Dan. First Dan. First Dan. Me and Belly Moss. First Dan. Belly Moss. They are mass up. Buy a mass up and Jim Brown was a decent little boy. Used to work with a nasty, make key and fix lap. And a mass up and buy them go for him. I tell him, him, him live up, me clean and not see it. And he start. And he became the Dan. But it was a nice Dan. The Dan you could have talked to. A Dan you could have run to with. He's a Dan who come here and see how he eat and say, well, you give me food, you know. Say, if you don't give me food, I worry, I worry. When school time, parents go down to Tivoli. He give them book, he give them uniform cloth, and he give them money and say, make sure you say the boy got school or the girl. And he used to tell, he used to tell the school as them, say, watch out, let me tell you know this. The whole of you can't come to a gunman. Some of you come to a doctor. Some of you come to a police. 
So I'm come to a lawyer. So I'm come to a judge to defend me. The whole of can't turn gun man. That you to tell them. See, everybody can't turn gun man. Yeah. But them you to Something wrong with the generation now. Hmm. The generation gone beyond. That generation is worse than the devil. Hmm. Yeah, worse than the devil. They say, they say it was prophesied, you know, but sometimes to sit down and believe say, prophecy are fulfilled in my existence. Yes, it's crazy. They are you, they are you. May I hear it from you and you are my elder. Something wrong with them, you. Man. Yes. Something wrong with them. A grave man. And if the people, hey, them you to force people to forget them, you know. Mm. Force you to forget them. Because I live 12 years old, 11 years old. You don't look for another man like me, I say. Hey, pussy, no kill you. Mm. What do you tell us? Mm. So and, it, them. and you mean it. Yeah? And you mean it. What do you mean it? Yeah. Trying to see if I'm going and, and, and talk to you now. You're dead. <laughs> You understand? I just, I just saw the system set up.